вообще градиент. Просто так почти. Alrighty, we got a flight plan activated. We've got permission to taxi to the runway, so that's what we're going to do. When we get there, we're going to do a quick engine and systems check, make sure everything's the way I expect. We'll be on our way shortly. Make sure your knees don't get bumped. Hilo Tower, Shock Basis is up to cat for East Parker Tower. Good number. Shock 36, Hilo Tower, Squawk 0514, departure from the Caribbean. Iron West remains south of Alpha. Traffic departing runway 8, an air van will be southbound. Roger that, I'll say south of Alpha, Shock Basis. Alrighty, everybody ready to boogie woogie? Yes, sir. Alright. Shaka 36, traffic maneuvering 2 to 3 miles south of the mill, fixed wing 1500, contact departure. Thank you. 
you can see it.
clouds are getting lower and lower, and then, uh, if we don't go up there now, we won't be able to. Now this here is going to be Highway 130 underneath this. It goes southeast. Goes to the uh, uh, over the ridge. We'll point out the end of Highway 130 in a while. Now uh, right now we're over there. We're going south, left, and be east, the very eastern tip of the island off our left wing. If we would turn east and continue on, Mexico and Mexico City, same latitude that we are, 19 degrees above the equator. If we run out of fuel in about five hours, we would not be in Mexico with that one. Good plan. Good plan. That's uh, the town of Pahoa on our left. Well, that's something uh, you might be interested in, Jason. See that circle? Uh, that's a, uh, right beyond that circle is uh, the Pahoa airstrip they used to use for um, uh, agriculture. Uh, but uh, that's a, now they turn it into a uh, uh, GPS uh, you know, uh, augmentation. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, and something to do with GPS. Looks like it's smooth enough to land on. Uh, 
can't go from Pohoi Hoi to uh uh. It just can't go from uh uh to Pohoi Hoi. View. Half time we do not see it. I do a thousand tours, 500 times we don't see it. By the way, I've done about 10,000. The mighty poo. Poo poo. Uh oh. Welcome out. Oh, there's some good stuff inside the bin. Just have instruments, solar panels, video camera on the side there. Oh yeah, good stuff, good stuff. Okay, we got the place to ourselves for the one for now. We're gonna go around one more time. Okay. Oh, cool. Thanks. So that trail of smoke is holes in the roots of the lava tubes. Uh, 
I have hiked back here more than once. Fascinating. Uh, it's a long way. Okay, we're going to follow that trail of smoke, and they're talking about some surface flow. We're going to. Skylight behind us a bit, Dale. We're going to circle one time. Yeah, it's like playing pool after everybody, after you lose a bunch. And yeah, this is, uh, I haven't seen this in a couple weeks like this. Yeah, she just uh, went through a couple of uh, deflation inflation events and Actually, we're thinking that she's going to start putting out some more surface flow, so that's great. Yeah, A3, yeah, I'm uh, coming up behind you there, Dale. I'm uh, climbing out of 28. Yeah, there's the skylight. There's, there's the skylight. Around. The rim below us. Yeah, beautiful. New Year's Eve, we hiked uh, an eight-mile round trip and didn't see anything but uh, from the end of Cheetah Grid Road, but it was a nice hike. Yeah, I bet. But, uh, but, you know. Nicer to end in Red Rock, I suppose. Yeah. yeah we went up to Summit of Mauna Kea New Year's Eve. And we don't do an adventure. But you didn't hike eight miles, I'll bet you. Uh, no, we didn't. <laughs> well, not, not that time. Modern technology. <laughs> Uh, my feet are still sore. My toes. Okay, we'll take a look at what's left of the Rogart subdivision. 135 homes covered over. Only one from Dr. Thompson.
paradise. It's either lucky or he really understood fluid dynamics.
got another one that controls the weather. Oh, great. <laughs>
you on our left, Curtis Town, KL out there.
we're going to uh, cross the White Luca River. We're going to snake our way down it and check out all the waterfalls. So, uh, this is what we call the Upper Falls on our left. Days. So uh, it's all from last, you know, before the last few days it rained for 40 some days straight. Another Indiana Jones uh, place. They spent a week at the base of this uh, waterfall that we're going to arc around. Uh, I saw them working down there. They had a platform. They had a vehicle in the pool at the bottom of the waterfall. I watched the movie more than once. And I didn't recognize maybe a little bit. Uh, there was there was some bad weather coming when they were down there, and uh, they spent a week watching them every day uh, working down there. Whether they didn't use that portion of the filming or they did their movie magic, I don't know. that we're flying over right now is called Boiling Pots. The water tumbles over under and around the rocks. Uh, Pepe Falls would be the tallest waterfall down there. I swam underneath that more than once. Right now, a little bit, and not too much water, but it can be dangerous. Two more times, that's my plan. It's a cool place. Jumping off those rocks, you ever do that? <laughs> I always watch to make sure somebody else is doing it too. You know? Thank you. 
They do some in Waimea yeah. and, and some here, and I spec, uh, if not that building, right next to that building. Okay. All righty, we'll uh, make sure our seatbelts are on, and we'll be landing shortly. when you hear the stall horn. So uh, that's what that is. Training out of this facility? Uh, some. Uh -huh. Mostly tours, but some. Uh, is your RG based here, or is that it right there? Uh, it's over in the uh, Kona side. Kona, okay. Yeah, I've never actually flown that airplane. I see. I've, I'm, you know, hyper or complex, but that's been a long time and yep. just hadn't had any uh, reason to. Yeah. 